Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. Today we'll be talking about Linux and specifically the things I like about Linux. I've been using Linux for about three months now and I think I'm ready to just mention the stuff I like about it. It's amazing. What do I say? There is a lot of stuff I didn't have with Windows and once I found it in Linux, I really fell in love and I was like, why all those years I've been just using Windows and never really tried to switch to Linux and it just a bit confusing at first. Also, you discover how amazing it is. I'm not going to go really that deep about it, but in the same time, I will try to mention as much stuff as I can about things I like about this operating system or those Linux distros or whatever you name it all right starting from the first thing which is the options available when it's about linux if you're a beginner once you switch to linux you discover that there is not only linux mint or fedora or arch linux there's basically a lot of other linux distributions that you can choose in between and for me that's a really good thing i just feel that having more options available is a really good thing talking about windows for example when it's about windows you don't have that much options you have either windows 10 or windows 11 windows 7 for example is out of support so you cannot use that one windows xp is out of support so you cannot use that one so two options you'll be like oh no i can use windows 10 ltsc or i can use windows 10 iot ltsc or i can use windows 11 ltsc or windows 11 iot ltsc but still not that much options all of those are almost the same windows 11 is almost a rebrand of windows 10 so what's are you talking about and the other side when it's about linux you can see that deuce is basically all the linux distros we had till the moment i'm recording this video look at all of that i don't think i need to actually explain anything let's just zoom in a little bit can i zoom in a little bit more please yeah just so we can basically be able to read that so in here for example we got super mini server whatever draco never heard of that one with his likes oh i know that one i used some mess around a lot with wifi slacks this was like a tool that lets you mess around with people wi-fi's and get their passwords and even do more than that you don't know how powerful that thing is if you never use this we got zenwalk who even knows about deuce like i never heard of deuce pop os oh of course pop os we know about pop os kde neon of course yeah ubuntu touch oh yeah that version is for like uh, android and stuff you can basically install this on your phone linux Lite, ubuntu gnome and I know a lot of people will be like, but I don't have time to just go through all of these Linux that shows I understand you. I completely agree with you and it's fine. If you don't really have that much time to try all of these and find the one that fits your needs, I believe you can just go to YouTube and try to see what people recommend after using Linux for a while and you'll find your answer really quick. So moving to the next thing, which is Windows Update. Doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 11, one of the most annoying things on earth is updating your windows machine it just doesn't make sense and consumes a lot of time to just finish you be like doing your stuff busy with something on your machine you get that one notification in the bottom of your screen saying oh windows needs updates and then it starts taking your resources in order to download and install the updates like do i really have to go to the settings and windows and turn off the automatic updates and just do i really have to do that like why do you just make it more complicated and the other side we have linux and let's just see how easy it is to actually install and updates and how just convenient i would say all i have to do is type sudo pacman space dash s y u click enter enter my password and just like that it's gonna search if there is any updates of course currently i have no updates to download and install but just gonna do that thing for me and once it's done i don't need to reboot in the first place well that's a thing in case you didn't know and i'm basically the one that decide when to update and when not to update and if you're a windows user you're not gonna tell me that's oh my god no windows updates is better than the way you guys update your linux distros excuse me but no it's clear to a blind person and no need to explain any further than that moving to the next thing which is the drivers similar to the updates the drivers is something you need to download and install in windows by linux that's not the case you install your linux distro and yeah i have the wobbly thingy by the way we anyways close that thing as i said so on linux when you get a fresh installation of 
of Arch or uh, Cache OS, you decide what Linux distribution to install. But once you install that thing, you realize that you have to install nothing else. You're ready to go. Just go ahead and do your job. Drivers can be installed on Linux. And that's something I've been looking for for a long time. Windows is just not comfortable. You still have to wait for the drivers to install in order to start using your machine. But with Linux, it's a whole different thing. Now moving to the next thing that's a likable Linux is no need to buy anything. In Windows, and sorry for making too many comparisons to Windows, in Windows, you need to buy a key. By the way, in case you didn't know, I never bought a Windows key and they always got them the right way. Uh, if you know what's the right way means, you know, you basically take the key in a keyless way. So like, you know, um, you bring a key, but that key is not yours, but it's yours. And then your Windows is activated. I never bought a Windows key. You understand the way you want to understand it. Doesn't matter. I never spent a dime on a key of Windows. And that's not my problem because I hate Windows and I'm never spending money on that thing. 200 bucks is too much money for me. I can buy a whole new desktop or laptop, reactivate the thingy and then just ready to use that shit. I'm getting mad at this point, bro. I'm getting mad, bro. Like, please, Microsoft, 200 bucks for a key? That's too much. I'm happy right now. You know, like, I'm happy. I'm not really that mad. I'm <clears throat> but in Linux, it's just uh, simple. You don't need a key because it's free and just free. Just like that. Free. Have you ever heard of freedom? Yeah, it comes from that word. Free. Easy, right? I installed End of OS. Guess how much I paid? Nothing because it's free. You get the points. Move into the next thing, which is the smoothness of the Linux distros. No matter what you're going to install, Arch or Fedora or Ubuntu or whatever you decide, you just cannot deny the fact that Linux is smoother than Windows. Some people will be like, oh no, Windows is better, Windows, I don't care, it's smoother. The desktop and everything is just super, I don't know, smooth, snappy, I don't feel any slowdowns in the first place, just the same way it happens with Windows, because Windows is really slow, especially on old machines, and that's something I care about, okay? Me as a person that have an old machine or a low-end machine, at least give me a good experience. Don't give me a bad one or don't give me an excellent experience, but just give me a good experience that will make me enjoy the operating system, which is not the thing with Windows. It's just really annoying. I cannot really explain. It's slow and everything. And that's the main reason I actually switched to Linux because of how slow is my operating system, which is Windows 11 that I used to deal with all the time. That's used to give me a headache. It uh, doesn't matter. Moving to the next thing, which is how customizable is Linux. For me, I'm using KDE Plasma. For you, doesn't matter. You can customize everything from the terminal to the looks of that thing to change a whole desktop environment for fun or add a whole thingy that doesn't make any sense. Like for me, I add this CPU, GPU thingy. What's even GPU? I don't even have a GPU. What is that? Yeah, the memory usage or you just can mess around with it however you want. I'm that type of person. Let's have that uncompleted rice. Uh, my rice is never completed. It's never perfect. It's never looking good. It's just a rice that can be called a rice and that's it. But I care about customizing my shit. You might like the Windows 10 interface, but for me, no, that's a big no-no. It's just too bad. Also forgot to mention that one. Out of the box, Linux looks better and cooler. Changed my mind. If we go to the settings, utilities, uh-huh, system settings, good job. Miss around however you want with that. Even add wobbly windows just like me. Yeah. Windows management. Yeah, the windows effects. Look at all. Does, does, does you see in here? Oh, just windows effects. You can add more if you want it. They'll just come over here. Yeah, there's this quest too. Really? Install that thing. Yeah, I want it. Can I take that one? I actually like it. Yeah. Oppa. So that's added to my list over here. Where is it? Squash 2. Oh, come on. I need to leave and then back. Just like this. What is Squash 2, you mother... You know, Linux problems, doesn't matter. Okay, close. Where's Squash 2? That's what I like. That's what I like. So there is Squash 1, Squash 2. Let's just select the question. How this one looks? Hey, hey, hey. That was super quick. Hey. hey. Yo, bro, what? Why? Where's the animation, goddamn? Never mind. All right? Get back to Squash 1. Yeah, that is much better. You know what? Can I change the speed of that thing? Oh, yeah, I can change it somewhere in here, but I'm not really sure where. Uh, somewhere in here? No, it's... uh, No, not that one. Yeah, you like that one? Look at that. Yeah, some vroom vroom in the 
the background, uh, but I will keep that one for now. Yeah, just very customizable. Do I need to explain that one? I don't really think so. Linux is customizable indeed, but did we talk about one more thing, which is the bloatware. Linux doesn't have bloatware, and that's really important for me. I don't have to just delete whatever comes preloaded with Windows. Like you install Windows 11 and then also the installation and also installing the drivers and also doing all of that, you just realize that you still need to delete the bloatware or tweak your machine. Linux is different. You don't have to do any of that because it's clean out of the box. And if you use Linux, you know what I'm talking about. And even some Linux distros like Arch, when you install them, if you want to, you can have basically no desktop environments and only deal with the codes. That's how debloated as Linux. Moving to the next thing and the last thing, which is the performance. Da da, the last thing. Yeah, literally, the last thing I will talk about is the performance. Windows is slow, not optimized. Linux is optimized. I'm gonna give you a simple example. On Windows, if I was recording a video, doesn't matter with OBS or not OBS, my CPU or GPU or whatever I have in that machine would be almost loaded to 80%. Literally, I'm just recording a video, it's 80% of usage. On Linux, it's a whole different thing. I'm recording in 1080p right now and just look at my CPU. Total CPU in use, 30%. Do I need to explain? Like really, at this point, I just need to be quiet and you guys can see everything in front of you. Talking about the RAM, this is the RAM, right? 20%. It's my machine. I know how it works and I've been using this with Windows for like a long time now. And I know it's not going to be at 20% if I was recording a video. It's going to be at least at 50 or 60%. That's how stupid is Windows 11. Uh, Windows 10 was a bit, you know, okay-ish. It works fine, you know. Sometimes it reaches that 99% of CPU usage. We're just going to close our eyes and our ears and be like, you know, that's fine. Act like nothing happens. But Windows 11 is a whole different story. Sometimes it likes to be stuck at 100% of CPU usage for some reasons. That shit. Linux is better. That's my opinion. If your opinion is different, that's fine. Every one of us have his own opinion about something. My list was really short because I haven't been using Linux for that long. But overall, I tried to mention the most important things for me and the reasons behind my switch to Linux. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, let me know in the comments. What are the things that you like about Linux and that doesn't exist in Windows? I'll be really happy to know. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.